I'm Brian Fisher and we're here on the campus to learn a little bit more about West Nottingham Academy today. We're here with our tour guides Adele, Ryan and Michaela. Hello, my name is Adele. I'm a 12th grader. I'm a four-year senior. I'm a boarder and I'm from Silver Spring, Maryland. I'm Ryan. I'm a day student. I'm also a four-year senior and I live in Oxford, Pennsylvania. I'm Michaela. I'm also a four-year senior and I'm from Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania and I'm a boarder. All right, well, let's get started. Right now we're in Derrick Plaza. One of the traditions we have at WNA is that twice a week we all meet as a school. And in the warmer months, this is where we assemble. Also, at Derrick Plaza, we have some classes outside to enjoy the plaza and the weather. It's bad luck if you step on the seal because you fail your next test, so don't step over the seal. West Nottingham Academy was founded in 1744, making us the oldest boarding school in America. We have grades 9 through 12 and also offer a postgraduate program. Our student body represents 12 states and 12 countries. We have smaller class sizes. The average is about 10, which is really nice because if you don't understand something in your class, the teacher is always willing to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, and you can kind of gauge the class to your speed. About 90% of our faculty members live on campus, which is also really great in case you need extra help on anything. You just give them a call or knock on their door and they're there to help all the time. Here we are in the head of the English department's room. This is um, Mr. Tatnell's room. He teaches English 12 and some of English 11 and one class of the sophomores. You have to take four years of English and you have an SRP. We have culture credits that you have to do for English, which is to a trimester where you go on the weekends and then you write up a one-page summary for your English teacher. This is the history classroom. Right now it's um, U.S. history. This is actually the biggest class that you will ever see at West Nottingham. Mr. Wong teaches freshman so. humanities, U.S. history, and AP U.S. And this is where you will be writing your papers and doing projects that are history oriented with the projects that you are doing in music as well as art. Oh, hey Isabella. This is my old roommate from the past two years, Isabella. So Isabella, how was it like transitioning from China to America as an international student? Oh, I've been um, um, uh, encountered a lot of changes, uh, including language and also like food and also like friends and also all these like environments and some first experience I've never uh, had before be, uh, before I came to America, United States. And for example, I've never been to haunted house before. I've never had like celebration for Halloween or Thanksgiving. And then I never had some like food from like like Mexican like tacos and I had like some of those food experience here I was like pretty amazed by all of this and also I made a bunch of friends from all over the world uh, who come from like Nepal and maybe like uh, Vietnam and here like United States and maybe Finland and maybe from like Turkey so I've been made a lot of friends all over the world which I think I would probably would not have this experience at all if I stay in China so I'm really happy that I came here in the, uh, in the United States and here at WNA. As a college preparatory school, one of the biggest parts of WNA is the getting through the college process. This can start really as early as you're, um, when you're a sophomore. You can start having regular meetings with our college counselor, our assistant college counselor, and our academic dean. You get to know them very well from the time you're a sophomore, having up to weekly meetings even if you want to, so that by the time you're a senior, they can give you a great recommendation letter, and you can, it's as simple as walking into the office, and because the people know you so well, they can give you a list of colleges that are perfect fits for you no matter what you're looking for. As, you, as unique West Nottingham is, we offer a Naviance, which is a website that is like Common App, only Naviance is more detailed to what you want to do. It has your schools on there, and as sophomores, you start looking at them, what size and where, and you can talk to your college counselor about it, and he, all, he or she always sees what kind of schools you're looking at. Here we have our language wing. We are actually in the Spanish classroom. At West Nottingham, we offer two foreign languages, French and Spanish, um, taught by Mrs. Lopez and Mrs. Bruchel. Um, Spanish is a course that goes from Spanish 1 to 4 in AP, as well as French goes from 1 to 5 in AP. Um, in the Spanish class, we do projects such as the Day of the Dead project that you do every year, but the different levels of it. So your freshman year, you make candy skulls and you do skeletons and you write a paper on it. And as you progress, it becomes more in-depth around this time of year. Um, in French, we recently had international students travel and they came and they came to our classes and shouted us for several days. So that was really interesting. Every year, we have a trip to a foreign land. This year, we are going to France and Spain. Um, that is a trip that both the French department and the Spanish department are taking over spring break, so that will be very interesting to see. 
Now we're in Helena Hall. This room was designed to look like a college lecture hall. Some classes, such as ethics, are taught here. We really try to stress, um, since we're a college preparatory school, we really try to make people as prepared for college as they can be. This includes a lot of cross-curricular learning. Uh, the cross-curricular learning is alternative assessments. We have trimesters at West Nottingham. So uh, two out of three of the trimesters you'll have an exam, and one out of three of the trimesters you'll have an alternative assessment. And that includes, like for humanities, that was a project when we did the Greek goddess. That was an alternative assessment. So instead of taking an exam, you do a project. At West Nottingham Academy, we have many, many clubs. One of the clubs that I partake in are Film Enthusiast Club, and we meet here for our monthly movies, actually seasonal movies. We have movies around Halloween time, Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, and we really try to incorporate the season into the films that we watch. So we come here and we have snacks and we have discussions and we watch either recent or old films, so it's really interesting. At WNA, we really try to meet students where they are. One way that we do this is with the Chesapeake Learning Center, or CLC. CLC is a place for people if they would like extra learning support, such as tutoring or other things, they can come here and be um, tutored by learning specialists who can help them with study skills or getting organized or whatever they need to be where they are for their classes. Here we are in one of the girls' rooms. There's two to a room. There are 22 to 26 people in each dorm. There are four dorms. There are two girls' dorms and two guys' dorms. Each dorm has a laundry room. The laundry room has washers and dryers, and it's a dollar per cycle for each. Uh, there's We have study hall in dorm, which is 7.30 to 9.30, which is just keeping your door open. 10 o'clock is check-in, so after 9.30 you can go out down to the canteen, which is run by the seniors to get food or hang out with your friends. Be back to the dorm by 10. In-room is at 10.30, lights out for everyone is at 10.45 and 11 for seniors. Each dorm has two prefects, which is normally a junior and senior that kind of just oversees what everyone's doing and helps the dorm parents out. We have four dorm parents to a dorm. Two of them are connected in this dorm and then three in some of the other's dorms. Here we have the common room and Roland dormitory. Um, the common room is basically our living room space. We have a fridge, a microwave, and a sink, and cabinets where we can store our plates and mugs and such. Um, here is just a place where we meet, we gather for dorm meetings, um, movie nights on Fridays with Miss Rainey, with ice cream Sunday bars, and um, we watch TV. Um, yeah, so this is just a space. We, there's a nice water cooler that brings hot, hot and cold water, and a vending machine. Welcome to the Frank D. Brown Dining Hall. Here we have flags from every country of our past and current students. Um, flags from all over the world. So this is obviously where we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's all you can eat. We have just options for everyone. We have a salad bar, we have a sandwich bar, we have the hot meals, we have fruit. And then on the weekends, which is really special for boarders, we have brunch, which is 10 to 10 to 12. And that we serve waffles and we serve um, omelets and eggs made to order, which is always really exciting for boarders. Another thing you might notice behind us are the Spartans and Athenians flags. When you first start at WNA, you're randomly divided into being either a Spartan or an Athenian. We compete then in different events throughout the school year. These might be fun events, like we do chariot races on toddler scooters, or we do big scavenger hunts or tug of war, but there are also more serious academic events, like number of students on honor roll or even a Jeopardy game. Here we are in the bottom of Faust, which is the student lounge, which is where we, everyone, day students and boarders, come just to kind of relax. We have the senior canteen, which is raising money for our senior class trip. We have food, we have coffee, we have anything. We have pool, which gets pretty heated, and we have ping pong, which that's pretty intense also. We have TV, where you can watch movies, film, whatever, or play video games. And this is where we all just kind of hang out after school. Here we are in Gates Gallery, our campus is art gallery. Right now, most of the art is done by our artists and residents, uh, but we also feature student artwork and even artifacts from previous alumni, um, as old as from the 1800s or even 1700s. Toward June, at the end of the year, we have the Senior Spotlight, where all the art on the walls is by seniors, highlighting their progress over their four years learning art at West Nottingham. Here we're in the music room. We have music classes from Freshman Humanities Music, which we mentioned earlier, but we also have music composition, music theory, AP music theory. We have a chamber ensemble that performs during the winter trimester, and we also have a lot of chorus classes. Um, I'm personally in choir. I've been in choir all four years. Um, choir fits into your schedule, but if it does not, you can be a volunteer in the choir. We have an elite group of choir members and it's called the Academy Singers. The Academy Singers perform at smaller group um, meetings and at 
convocations and other such things on this campus. Now we are in the gym. At West Nottingham Academy, all of the students are required to take one sport a trimester. In the fall, we have soccer and cross country. In the winter, we have basketball. And in the spring, we have lacrosse. We also have other non-competitive options. We have, for example, uh, intramural sports. We also have weightlifting. We also have martial arts, Zumba, yoga, and cheerleading. So we really have a wide array for people who are very athletic or for people like me who don't like sports as much. Something very unique to West Nottingham Academy is offering our figure skating program. It's also offered as a sport, so if you don't do one of the um, on-campus sports, you would be in the figure skating program if you're coming in as a figure skater. You go to classes in the morning, so until 12.20, and then you leave on the bus to go to the rink, any local arena. Most of our figure skaters go to University of Delaware because they're world-renowned coaches and you would work in an athletic training room with an athletic trainer, so you would get your on-ice and your off-ice training all in one vicinity. So now we've come to the end of our tour, and this is where I get to ask, what's your WNA story? Why has WNA been a great place for you to, for you to go to school? WNA is so special to me. I started as a freshman. I was in the figure skating program which allowed me to figure skate and they were here for me for academics and I had great friends who always supported me. Then I had to stop figure skating due to an injury and family matters and the school was always there for me supporting me. My, going into my senior year I decided to stay home for the first two months because I thought it would help my family but ultimately WNA is where I'm supposed to be and I decided to come back and they opened me, they welcomed me with open arms and my first day back I felt like I never left and I don't know what I would do if I wasn't graduating from West Nottingham Academy. It's so special to me. WNA has been a great place for me because it brings a sense of community that I've never had in a school before. Um, previously, before I came here, I was in a public school and it was very big and I didn't really get a lot of attention from my teachers and I wasn't as involved in activities and I came here and I branched out completely. I'm in everything from co-ed soccer to film enthusiast club to let's talk about it. Um, I'm participating in a lot of activities. I have really great friends that I think are going to carry with me all throughout my life and I've just been, I've experienced so many new things. I don't think I would be the person I am today if I did not have this school and my past in this school that has taught me so much. So that's why WNA is special to me. I think WNA for me is really a lot about the community and it's about that we, we are all together as a family but each of us as individuals have such unique interests. For me, I've gotten to take classes where I'm the only one in it. I've gotten to take a French literature class, I've gotten to take music composition classes and these are things that I realize that I'm really passionate about and now when I'm at the time when I'm filling out college applications I can say yes I've done this and yeah I want to study this for the next four years and that's kind of, there are a lot of things that I didn't realize I loved until I went to WNA and now I'm going to get to have that for the rest of my life. And really the community is just so accepting of differences. WNA is a place where like half the school is in the Gay-Straight Alliance and that's something that a lot of people don't have the privilege of having that kind of diversity. People don't have friends from other countries, don't have friends representing every group of people imaginable, but here I really feel so welcomed and uh, you don't even notice how different we are until you start appreciating it and thinking about, wow, like my friends are really unique.